Greetings, Notary Stars. This is going to be our third module on using Adobe. We are going to focus today on DPI scanner settings and compressing a PDF in Adobe. Now, having the right DPI settings and also compressing your Adobe PDF after you scan, what that does is it lessens the file size. And you're going to see a couple of sample files that we have today. One of them, I have them scanned in at 300 DPI, and one of them I have scanned in at 600 DPI. And then we are also going to compress both of those files to further reduce the file size as well. But lowering the DPI as well as compressing your PDF, it's gonna take a big file and make it a lot smaller, and it's not going to impact the resolution or quality of your scan document. It's just removing a lot of unnecessary memory from the document and taking out a bunch of other things that make up that document and reducing the file size. I won't get into specifically what it removes because honestly, I don't know. I just know these features reduce the file size and these make it a lot better to your presentation of title or your signing service or whomever you're providing scans to so they're not having to open up 80, 90, 100 megabyte files. So first one we're going to talk about is setting your scanners DPI to 300 or less. Now, each scanner is going to be different. And depending on which scanner you have, you need to open up your scanner uh, manual to figure out where you need to set your DPI settings at. Now, when you go in and set the DPI settings, it's probably going to give you several different options, 100, 200, 300, and so on. You shouldn't need to go any higher than 300 DPI. Any higher than that, typically your scanner is going to move a little slower and it's going to scan back a really large file in megabytes, which you don't need. So set your scanner settings to 300 DPI or less, and you may want to run a couple of sample scans just to make sure that the quality comes out okay at a lower DPI setting. Now, compressing a PDF to reduce its file size. So we're going to look at a couple of our sample files today to show you how to do this. Now, when you compress a PDF, you are not going to use any of these tool icons over on the right. So that's not going to apply to our lesson today. To compress a PDF, you're going to go up to file and there will be a button that says compress PDF. We're not going to do it here because we want to do that on one of our sample files today. So let's go ahead and open one of these up. Now, these are our two sample files that we're going to be looking at today. Now, in order to see what the file size is, you want to click on one and then right click to open up the menu just keep in mind anytime you use the right click it's going to open up a menu for that file and you can kind of get in and see the specifics of it once you right click you want to click on properties when you click on properties it's going to let you know the size of that file and as you can see here it says file size 27.6 megabytes. That's not a very big file and you would probably be okay providing a scan at around 27, 28 megabytes. You know, usually when you get past 50, uh, that's where things start to get problematic. As some title companies, the file might be too large to upload on their secure server. Um, the bigger the file, the longer they take to open the PDF. Sometimes the longer it takes for them to scroll from page to page. So you really probably want to keep it under 50, but if you can get it, you know, 25 or lower, uh, that would be preferable. But, you know, 50, you really don't want to go any larger than that. Now, this file here that we're looking at, that is 
27.6 megabytes. This is a closing package. It's roughly 100 pages. And this was scanned in at 300 DPI. Now, if we go to the second closing package, this one I scanned in at 600 DPI, and you're going to see how much more memory uh, this file has. So again, right click, go to properties, and a file I scanned in at 600 DPI is 86.5 megabytes. So that's about three times the size as the previous file that we scanned in at 300 DPI. So as you can see, lowering the DPI itself decreases the amount of megabytes that that file is going to come out at. Now, this is about a 100-page closing package. Now, keep in mind, when you get to those closing packages that are 150, 200 pages, if you scan in at 600 DPI, it can probably um, get up there to 100, 150 megabytes. However, if you like to scan at 600 DPI, that's perfectly fine, but you will still need to compress your file as what we're going to look at now. So we'll go ahead and compress the closing package that we scanned in at 300 DPI. So we're going to double click and open that up. And you can ignore it being up, up, upside down. We're not looking for perfect scan quality today for this lesson. So in order to compress the PDF, all you need to do is open the PDF up. We'll put it in full screen here. And you're going to put your mouse over File, left click, and you want to go down to Compress. You're going to hit Compress. We're going to save everything to our desktop today. Now it's going to ask you to name the file. So this one, we're going to keep the file number the same, but we're going to put compressed by it. And hit save. And it should pull up this loading box as Adobe does its thing and begins to compress the file. Now, when you're doing a compression on a file, the larger the file it is, the longer Adobe is going to take to compress the file. So you just want to be patient and wait it out a little bit. Okay, successfully compressed the PDF size from 27 megabytes to 13 megabytes. So as you can see, it reduced the file size by about half. And it automatically saved, executed closing package, 300 DPI, compressed. So now when you email your scans over or upload them, however you're sending them uh, to Title or your signing service, you want to make sure that you use the, uh, the compressed one, not the original one, because this has the smaller file styles. And before you upload it, you can also check to make sure that this is the one you're looking for. Again, you can right click on it. Click properties. And check the file size. 13.1 megabytes. Yes, that is the one we compressed. So we're going to look at it a little bit bigger of a file now and compress that one. So let's open up the same file. However, we scan this one in at 600 DPI. And the original file size is 86.5 megabytes. So we're going to be reducing this one. So double click to open it up. And we will do the same exact thing as we did on the last one. Top left of the PDF file. Go down to Compress PDF. We'll save it to our desktop.
and I'm just going to put compressed by the existing file number and save. And we will just wait until Adobe is done compressing the file and the 600 DPI scan may take a little bit longer to compress. Okay, so the compression has finished and it'll give you a preview at the bottom right here. It'll say successfully compressed PDF size from 86 to about 13 megabytes. Now, we want to find that file. And here it is, it popped up on our desktop, execute a closing package, 600 DPI compressed. And again, you can check the file size by right clicking, going to properties. And there's your size 12.9 megabytes. So it really drastically changed that one to from about 85 megabytes uh, down to 12 megabytes. And that's the one that you are going to want to send to your signing service or title if they are requesting scans on your order. So just a quick recap on our lesson today. With your scanner, you want to read your manual but you do want to figure out how to set the DPI first. That is because the DPI in compressing is what's going to impact the file size the most. So set it to 300 or less. You can try scanning a sample package at 100 or 200 DPI to see if it comes out okay. Um, just look at the pages. If it looks pixelated or there's marks and runs over it, you don't want to use that. And then after you scan the closing package at 300 DPI or less, you want to go into Adobe and run the compressor. Again, with the compressor, you do have to have the upgraded version of Adobe. You will not be able to do this in Adobe Reader. And that concludes our lesson today. If you do have any questions, please send us an email at contact at notarystars.com and we will see you in the next module.